Software Restriction Policies, or SRPs, are created via Group Policy and can be run as computer or user GPOs. Today I'll show how to create a starter SRP that uses whitelisting, which means that everything will be blocked unless approved first. Open your Group Policy Editor and go to Computer Configuration, Windows Settings, Security Settings, Software Restriction Policies. Right-click and create a new policy. Once you've done this, you'll see several new options. First, you'll want to click on Enforcement, which sets who and what your SRPs will apply to. I found it's easiest to manage SRP if you select Accept DLLs and Accept Local Administrators. Enforcing certificates can be helpful, but can slow down your systems, so you'll want to do a lot of testing before deciding to use that option. Second is Designated File Types. This is a list of all the file types that you want your SRP to apply to. I suggest removing LNK to allow your start menu and other shortcuts to be processed. The underlying EXEs will still be blocked if they aren't approved. Look over the list and decide if there's anything else you'd like to add to it, like PS1 for PowerShell scripts. When done, simply click OK. Third is deciding what security level you want to use. Today we're doing whitelisting, so you're going to want to select Disallowed and Set as Default. If you prefer blacklisting, which is much less secure, forcing you to individually block any app that you don't want your users to run, you would select Unrestricted. And finally, it's time to create our SRP rules, which are listed under Additional Rules. By default, the Windows and Program Files folder will be allowed. These are protected areas that only admins can write to, so it makes sense to consider them safe. If you don't allow them, be prepared for Windows itself to stop working. I've also found that adding Program Files x86 is a good idea, as there are still many 32-bit programs out there. To add a rule, simply right-click in the Rule area and select the type. We're going to do a Path Rule, and we can either browse or type in the path that we want to allow. For Security Level, we want to select Unrestricted to allow the path to work. If you wanted to block it, you would select Disallowed. If you'd like to type in a description to help you remember what this is for, type it in in the box. If there are any programs that your users need that are not running from program files, you would add them here using the path rule. You can also use hash rules or certificate rules, but we don't have time for those today. Now that you've created the GPO, you'll want to apply it to a test group so you can monitor for problems. On machines you apply this to, event 865 or 866 will appear when SRP blocks the program, so you'll want to look out for those. Thanks for watching.